Hello, hello. How are you? Hi. Oh my God, pretty nice and beautiful faces and brand new faces. Hi, okay. I have a lot of boys here. Wow, that's good. Alrighty, everybody's like boom. Hello, good night. Good night. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have you guys. Oh my God, you're really brand new faces for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Uh, this is me, by the way, the one that's who, has, who sent you a message from the WhatsApp group on Monday, yesterday. That was me, by the way. <laughs> so nice to meet you guys. Okay, I'm going to be your um, in-class corporative mentor. All right, my name is Sylvia. I'm going to be your teacher for the next of for the rest of the model. All right, so hopefully we're going to get along well. We're going to become right now it's like a teacher student thing, but at the end of the model we're going to become a family and a friends. Okay, we're going to work together. Okay, so 50 50. All right, <laughs> very good. Okay, so uh, basically, guys. Uh, you all of you are really new for me, so we're going to introduce and talk about ourselves a little bit, right? So we need to get a, uh, to get to know each other a little bit. Okay, my name is Sylvia. I'm 30 something years old and live it like that, right? Right? Okay. Um, I'm an English teacher. I have six years, almost seven years of teaching English. Um, I love pets. I have two dogs. Whiskey. And chestnut. Whisk is seven years old and chestnut is eight months. Um, I don't have kids. I love to hang out with my friends, with my family. I love to read. I love to learn all other languages. And also I love to do exercises a lot. And basically visit new places and meet new people around the world. So that's what I love. Well, it's like a brief explanation about myself. Okay. All righty. Uh, I want you guys to let me know something. Oh, and by the way, I'm a journalist. <laughs> All righty. You know what that means? Yes. Oh my God, everybody's quiet. What happened? Hello. Is everybody quiet? Come on. <laughs> okay. I have a really smiley guy here in the group. Mr. Hermes Garcia. All right, Hermes, tell us a little bit about yourself. It's very late. What? It's very late. Oh yes, it's very late, it's 907. Okay, at tell this time, At this time, I, I was sleeping. And no, but no anymore. <laughs> no anymore. And Wilfredo said, yeah. yes, no anymore. Okay. Because you're going to be with me in the English class. Right? <laughs> All righty. So, Hermes, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what do you do? What do you like? And what do you expect to learn in this model? What are your expectations? I just want you to listen. I want to listen to you guys. Which are your expectations? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm working in technology, uh, technology uh, uh, enterprises. All right, that's great. Yes. Uh, you have a I like. There. I, mm -hmm. I like. Uh, to read some ebooks, um, mm -hmm. like to swimming in the morning, but at this time it's very, it's very. Uh, it is difficult. Yes, it's very difficult for the situation. But it's so for me. <laughs> good, that's good. Very good. You see, great job. Excellent. Who's next victim? Sorry, who's the next participant? <laughs> Alrighty, I love his hair. Mr. Carlos Galen. Hello. Hello, how Hello. are you? Good, good, good. 
Yeah, stay here with us. That's uh, nice. Okay, my, 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 uh, I work in the uh, national, uh, no, I work in EFK, mm -hmm. EFK, uh, National Federation Karate. And really? I like, really, yes. Stay away from him. I okay. like uh, training in the morning. And I like uh, visit di different places. And um, why he, um, I need practice more English, you know, and listen and and writing is is my mission for this model. Yeah, definitely. And we will help you to accomplish your goals. Okay, to reach your goals. Okay. So you can like hit. Thank you. Things okay, very good. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> guys, you need to be careful with Carlos, right? You need to be his friends because if you're building enemies, oh my goodness, you're going to have like a bloody nose, right? Something like that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Who else? Wilfredo, how are you, Wilfredo? Fine, are you? Oh, pretty good <laughs> with a lot of energy, as always. <laughs> Okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, I work in the uh, technology enterprise. Oh, oh uh, well, you are, by the way, you are not Mr. Ermers Garcia Arner? Yes. Oh, yes. my goodness. I knew it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, good. Uh, I like to uh, play basketball. I like, you like to play basketball? Okay. Yes, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, Something days in the week. Um, mm -hmm. um, I like to uh, go to the church. Okay, um, very good. Uh, I like to uh, see the games. Mm -hmm. Laker versus Nuggets. <laughs> okay. um, I like to read. You like to read, okay. Yeah. My expectation for this module is. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Learn more uh, uh, um, um, you can do it my my um, uh, one sec. you can do it you can do it it didn't come up but you can do it I, I need I need uh, 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 speak more you need to practice yeah. speaking okay uh, yeah. best. Yeah, and uh, my English is, is, is a little, is, is, uh, is poco. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I need don't more practice. Don't tell Spanish words, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I need more practice uh, right. with us. That's with good. You. Definitely. Yes. Nice don't to meet you, me, Nice to meet you. Don't tell me that you like to speak because you know, if you have noticed, I love to speak a lot. And with me, you have two okay. options, or to speak, okay. or to speak. Which one you prefer? <laughs> but Dead, right? <laughs> yeah. But English, no Spanish. Okay. Because this is intermediate three. So I'm going to be <laughs> nyaka nyaka with you. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. No, no. Sometimes I will speak Spanish, but it will be really weird times. Okay. okay. Mm hmm. Oh, and guys, let me give you some advice. Um, sometimes you would like to uh, try to explain things, but you're not finding the word, right? The word to express yourself. Okay, I, it, this is a, um, an advice that I give, doesn't matter which language you're learning. Right now you're learning English. Maybe tomorrow you're going to learn French or Japanese or Mandarin or whatever, or Nahuatl, you don't know, okay? But when you're trying to express yourself, try to use the vocabulary that you know so far, okay? Maybe it's not a lot of words, maybe, maybe just a few, but that's okay. Just trying to express yourself with words that you already know, okay? Don't try to search for like um, words that are like too elevated right now or try to use another thing like, oh, how am I going to explain that? You can explain things in a really easy way, just with the vocabulary that you know. While we were studying, 
and giving you some information where we're going to improve our readings, our skills, our writing skills, our listening and our speaking. You will increase in your vocabulary. That means that you will have more words that you will know, okay? So then you're going to use them. But right now, don't complicate yourself. Just use the vocabulary that you know, okay? And that's it. Don't worry. So can we make a deal? You know what a deal is? A deal? Deal. A shaking hands, a deal? <laughs> yes, that's a deal. Yes. All right, yes. cool. Excellent. Very good, Wilfredo. You're going to speak with me a lot, okay? <laughs> Definitely. Okay. All righty. Very good. You know what? And Caesar is like, oh my God, in which class I'm in right now? I think I'm going to change it because, oh my God. It's too late, Caesar. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All righty, very good. I do have here a really smiley girl. Well, I have a lot of smiley girls here, but let me pick one of them. Uh, Mr. Gina. I think it's Miss, right? Or Mrs. No, Miss. Are you single or you're married? Just for training purposes. Huh? Are you married? Yes, I'm married. Sorry, guys. Okay, okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, Georgina, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello, my name is Georgina. I am trainer of karate. E, wow, like Caesar? Are you Caesar partner? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm going to be your BFF forever and ever, okay? <laughs> All right, very good. That's nice. Yes, I am trying to... Okay. But you are not a, a, his wife, by the way, no. Yes. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. <laughs> That's good. Okay, continue. Go ahead. Uh, I am trying to... I, I like to sing. I, I am really bad, but I like sing. I like to oh. practice sport. Is the run. I like to run and... To play to music? Yeah, to, li to play music or to listen to music? I listen to music. You listen like this? Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. And uh, Is it? Just like that. <laughs> I have two children. Two, two, two daughters. Oh, two children. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Two daughters. Yes. And I, I like uh, to be mother. Okay, you like and, to be a mother, okay. Yes, and I like, I did not say, <laughs> I like the pet. I have one doll and one kitty, one little kitty. Really? Oh, that's amazing. I love pets as well. <laughs> okay, yes. thank you. Thank you, Georgie. All right, and last but no least, ball, big team, sorry, volunteer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All righty. Yes, Francisco Edgardo. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good night. Good, I'm good fine. Night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Okay, my name is Francisco Edgardo Perez. Mm -hmm. um, I work in the drugstore, uh, the enterprise, maybe, from La Buena. All right. Uh, like uh, music. I mm -hmm. like the king. I am married. Uh, I Sorry, have, girls. Okay. Uh, three children. <laughs> Sorry, girls. Um, <laughs> um, I like a thing. thing you like painting? I like a... What? Did, did you say uh, that you like painting? Like Salvador Dali? No, thing. Ah, oh, thing, like, no, like that? Ah, okay. Yeah. Hey, you can make a duel with Georgie, but you have to ask Carlos first. Okay. And <laughs> special uh, music religious. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Yeah. Guys, you were paying attention, right? Okay, hopefully you did. Yes, yes. Hopefully, uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. yes, okay. Okay, I'm going to ask one more, okay? Because he he's like sitting like this, paying attention, you know what, focus on the class today. He's wearing his 
Salvador um, football or soccer game shirt. And I'm talking about Mr. Marlon Adonai Alegria. All right. So, hi, sir. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. My name is Marlon Adonai Alegria. Um, I am a application manager. I work for Unicomer is a corporation who take a Tropigas, La Curacao, Red Shirt, and another another branches. Um, oh. I really enjoy my job. Um, the purpose in this class is to reach a better level of English, to maybe have a better work opportunity. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah. So basic, thank you. Uh, okay, Marlon, so basically for all of you guys, what you would like is also to develop your listening skill, your speaking skill, your writing, and your reading, right? In order for you to achieve or to reach your personal but also professional goals. Is that correct? All righty, yeah. yeah. And congratulations, Mr. Marlon Adonai. You speak very well. Okay, thanks, teacher. We are here to, 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 to learn uh, and reach a better skill. Different, Definitely different. you will be. So I am going to push you a lot, okay? Okay, no problem. Yes, I'm going to be like Carlos and Jordi, but with English. That's dangerous. Yes, I'm a dangerous girl. That's my second one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Very good. So, Mr. Herman Agustin Ramos, do you remember that who said that they are married, but at the same time they practice karate? Who said that, Herman? Uh, good night. Good night. Uh, teacher, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Okay, I'm, a, I'm asking you, uh, because you have heard about your classmates' information, so I just want to know if you were paying attention, okay? Let me ask you something. Who's, who said that they were uh, married, or they are married all the way, and they practice karate? Who said that from your classmates? Who said that? Do you remember, Herman? No? Um, no? No. Okay, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> all right, very good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. This is the first day, so don't worry. I'm, I'm going to be nice. <laughs> no, that's okay. All righty. Let me, another big team, sorry, another volunteer. Okay, Hermes. Is there turn, Hermes? No? Ah, come on. All righty. Ma Marlon, what about you, Marlon? Uh, I think it's Carlos and Georgie, right? Exactly. You're perfectly right. All right. How many children do they have? <laughs> I think I listen to. Two? Is two. that correct, Francisco? Oh, no, teacher. I have yeah. that three. In my play, I no, oh, it is correct. Yeah. They have two children. Come mm, on, right. Francisco. Oh, yeah. Flor Lobo, are they girls or boys? Hello? No, we cannot hear you. Uh -huh. Girls, they are girls. Yeah. Very good. One point for you. Uh, Noah Betsabe Morales. Good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure. Okay, there are two guys that they are partners and they work in the same company. Which one are they? I, I don't work in the know. Same I, I, I actually, I. I need me. Ah, uh, you just about to join the class. No, you were like in 15 minutes with us already. <laughs> come on, come on. Let me ask, um, Cesar. Cesar, you're well with us in the whole class. So there's no excuses for you. <laughs> okay, Cesar, who are the partners here? Uh-huh. 
Good night, teacher. Good night, sir. A little, a little speak English. Don't worry, that's why you're here. No, uh, okay. Uh, uh, I know the stand and let's speak. Ah, don't worry. Okay, let me repeat the question for you. That's not a problem. Okay, we were talking about ourselves, right? Okay, and your classmate, there are two classmates that had said that they work together in the same company. Who are they? Is it Carlos, Marlon, Flor, Wilfredo, Hermes? Who? Wilfredo. Wilfredo, and who else? Yeah, Wilfredo yes. is one of yes. them, but, but there's another one. Do your best, do your best, Caesar. do your best. Uh huh. Georgie, can you help Caesar? Yes. I, 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 yes. I think it's Wilfredo and Herman Agustin. Uh, or... Yeah, it's Wilfredo, oh. but it's not Herman Agustin, no. I, uh, ah. <laughs> what about you, Erica? Don't worry, Georgie. What do you say? It is, it is Wilfredo. It's Hermes Garcia. Yay! Very good! <laughs> you see what type of questions I make? <laughs> With me, guys, you need to oh, pay attention or oh, pay attention. You have two options. Which one you prefer is fine for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is one of the games that I do. And it's part of the listening skills. Why? Because, guys, sometimes you will listen to a conversation and you will not even know what they're talking about because you don't know the topic. Okay? But they will ask you for a specific information of that listening part. And the information I was asking you for is specific. It wasn't specific. I just asked this and this question, and that's it. So that's what am I? That's what I'm doing these exercises, okay? To ask for a specific information. That's what I need. So basically, guys, we're going to continue listening or developing our listening skill. That is one of the skills that is uh, the most difficult for most of the students, the listening part, okay? So guys, for now on, I want you guys to focus on something. This is going to be a conversation about a specific country, okay? And I want you guys to pay attention about how they describe that country, okay? But most of the important things, I just want you guys to pay attention on the adjectives and the adverbs. But before I play that audio for you, can you please be so kind to let me know what is an adjective? Any idea? What is an adjective in the Spanish? Doesn't matter. Volunteer, volunteer. Okay, don't fight, don't fight. Everybody will participate, don't fight. Okay, <laughs> yes, don't fight. Okay, I, I know that you would like to say, hey, me, me, to here, no way. Okay, so volunteer, Victor Palacios. Mr. Victor Palacios. I can just see your forehead. Okay, hello, hello. Hello, Hi. I wanna see your, your entire face. I know that you're a handsome man. Okay. Oh, yes, okay. Very good, excellent. Okay. You know what, okay. you, uh, you look like if you're, re you're a teacher as well, or you're a really smart guy. Okay, so tell me, um, Victor, what is an adjective for you? In Spanish, uh, what is an adjective? Or when do we use the adjectives for? Sorry, uh, I don't understand the, the question. What is adjective for? Yes, yes. What is an adjective? Or what is an adjective? Who can tell me what is an adjective? Sorry, I, I my internet is uh, a bad. Is a uh, sorry. Oh. Is uh, what is uh, uh, yeah. Don't worry. Uh, That's okay, Victor. No problem. No problem. That's okay. Let me ask uh, another classmate that will help you. Let me check, uh, Marlon. What is I, an adjective? An adjective is something that describes an object, for example. Ah, very uh, good. Blue shirt. Okay. Like 
Uh -huh. An adjective that describes, okay, yes, an adjective wow. describes, describes, describes the, the noun, basically. And a noun, guys, could be place, could be a thing, right? Could be, what else? A person, right? Etc. Remember that in Spanish, we do say uh, the adjective before the noun or after the noun. What do you remember? After, after the noun. Aha, uh -huh. can you give me an example in Spanish? Una casa verde. Ah, very good, very good, Noah. Very good. But do we use exactly the adjective in, in the same way or the same position in English? No. No. In the English, it's the opposite way, right? Okay. Right. Do we say um, teacher t-shirt blue or blue t-shirt? Blue t-shirt. Oh, exactly, Jordi. Very good. The adjective always will go all the time before the noun. Okay, that is the common one. But today we're about to see adjectives with adverbs. And that changed a little bit. Okay, tell me, what is an adverb? Yes, Georgie? In Spanish? Yes, in Spanish. Indica el tiempo o la frecuencia de que se realiza algo. Yes, exactly. In Spanish, most of the time, the adverb describes the verb, right? The verb. We do have adverbs of time, right? Yeah, adverbs of manners, adverbs of places, etc. Okay, but we can combine adjectives and adverbs, okay? And in English, it's a little bit different. So, guys, now that we already make like a recap right or refresh about what is an adjective and what is an adverb now yes we're going to listen okay i will be a really nice teacher and i'm going to play the listening audio only two times okay this is going to be for this week and for the next coming weeks it will be only one time okay or you focus, or you focus. That good? Yeah? Give me the five. <laughs> Everybody's like, mmm. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, right, Marlon? He's like, what am I in? Okay. Yes. But this is for one purpose. I don't want to be bad teacher, but I'm going to be a good teacher. You will know why. Okay? Okay, okay. guys. So let me search right now for this information that I do have, and then we're, go we're about to listen to that conversation. All righty. Oh, and you're going to let me know which country they are talking about, okay? Okay. All right. Is it raining where you are right now? Is it raining? Oh, no. No, it's raining yes. a little. No. A little? Yes. Yes, in my no. Ah, hard. In... Hard. Oh, yes. really? Hot, yes. rainy? Oh very my God! Hard. Very hard. Here is is about is well, it's a starting, starting raining. Oh yes, because it's going to be fresh, and we can go to sleep well, like a baby. I love that. I love rainy things. I love it. Yes, you know what? With a cup of coffee in a in a piece of cake, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I know that Caesar and Georgie will say, no, teacher, that is bad for your health. There's a lot of carbs included. I know that. But if I make only with the white part of the eggs, that will be fantastic. No problem. A lot of protein and fiber. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> okay, guys, bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me ask you something. If you uh, listened or you consider that I'm speaking a little bit faster, Okay, just let me know, okay? I can repeat myself or I can clear anything that you have doubts, okay? Don't worry about it, okay? I'm here to help you. And I can slow down a little bit. Am I speaking too fast for you guys? A little. A little? For me. For, for who? Me. <laughs> but, but okay. 
no, 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 it's not okay because I want, I want you to understand, okay? Maybe we can see uh, not uh, a lot of information, but the information that we check every, every class, I want you guys to be clear, okay? I like quality of knowledge, no quantity of knowledge, okay? Yes, yeah, so basically, if you do not understand, I'll be more than glad to repeat myself, okay? So don't feel free to tell me, teacher, I don't understand you and I will repeat myself. All righty, very good. Okay, guys, I'm going to play the audio and please let me know if you're able to listen, okay? Allow me just a couple of minutes. Oh yes, I have noticed something that I load the volume. <laughs> All righty, very good. From Carmen. All right, okay, bear with me. Can you listen? Yes? Yes. Okay. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. All righty. Will you let me to play one more time? Yes. Yeah, right? Okay. One more time, guys. Woohoo! So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. All right. So guys, tell me, uh, where is Carmen from? San Juan, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. That's a really nice place, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me, do you remember which are the characteristics of what did she mention about San Juan, Puerto Rico? Fantastic beach. Fantastic beaches. Very good. Beaches, okay? The weather, the weather is, great. is great. The weather is great. What else? It's not very expensive. It's not very expensive. Very good. It's a really nice city, right? Or city. Nice city. You can say city or city and both are fine. All right. What else? Anything else? Is it it's not? not okay. Pretty big not city. Price are pretty reasonable. All right. Exactly. Prices are pretty reasonable. Pretty or pretty. Okay. Whatever. Both of them are fine as well. So we have really nice city, right? Or city. They said the weather is great, okay? Fantastic beaches, very good. Uh, not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. What else? Anything else? The country, it's not too big. Okay, very good, exactly. Uh, what about the city? She just one expression. Do you remember? Fairly big city. Fairly big. Yeah, fairly big it's fairly big city, and as Herman Herman says, it's not too big. Two with double O, right? Too big. Okay, very good. <laughs> yes, we have two T O. When we when we would like send a message, right, or an email to somebody else, right? And double and double two double O T O O. That basically that is an adjective. I know that is a number. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, guys. So that's cool. Congratulations. Yay! I'm happy. I'm so proud of you. Very good job. Okay, I'm going to put a smile here. A big heart. <laughs> Yay! I'm happy for you. Very good. You see, first time listening practice, and you're not too bad. So we're good on that. Mm -hmm. Hey, yes, Wilfredo. You see, you see, guys, I ask you a specific questions. You see? Mm -hmm. Maybe you didn't understand the whole dialogue. 
but you did understand what I ask you. Because remember that I ask you, focus on adjectives, focus on adverbs, focus on where is the country she's talking about, you see? So you already have in your mind, I need to pay attention to country, I need to pay attention to adjective, I need to pay attention to adverbs. So while you were listening, your brain was searching for that information, yes? And, uh, and from the whole story, it was like, this is another book, this is another book, right? This is uh, the country, you see? You see how it works? We're going to do a lot of uh, more practices like that, okay? Don't worry about that. Okay, guys, so let's continue. Oh, before I go, before I continue, re uh, related to the uh, conversation that you have heard, any questions regarding vocabulary? No? Fairly? Fairly. Okay, we're about to see that. Don't worry. We're going to see it because I'm going to explain it. You know what? Before I explain that, let's do something. Would you like to practice the dialogue? Yes? So we can start develop the, the speaking skill. Yes? <laughs> Let the blood begin. I'm just kidding. Don't worry about that. Oh, no, I'm not too bad, guys. Don't worry. I'm not too bad. Well, yes, I am, but not quite. All right. So allow me a couple of minutes. Let me pop it up right now on my screen. And I will share with you the dialogue, okay? So bear with me for a couple of minutes. All righty. We're going to start developing our speaking skill, okay? Because we need to learn also to pronounce correctly the, um, the questions, right? And also the expressions. So they're really important. All right. Okay, so allow me a couple of minutes and I will share my screen with you in just about two seconds. All right, there you go. Teacher, they already passed two seconds, I know that. Who's sleeping? Who's sleeping? Who's sleeping? You don't have to sleep in my class. No way. You're not going to sleep. I promise that you're not. Mm. Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay, I'm going to share right now my screen. And the one who said, I'm sleepy, you're not going to sleep. Not from now on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Are you able to see my screen, guys? Yes. Yes, okay, but I want, I'm going to make yes. it bigger, okay? So allow me a couple of minutes. I'm going to make it bigger for you. Okay, that's what we're going to see, you see? Albers before adjectives. Can you see my screen right now? Yes, teacher. Can you see the dialogue? Yes? Cool. Yes. All right. Yes, I can. Yeah, all righty. So I'm going to ask for big team, sorry, for volunteers. All right, the first volunteer will be the couple. Mr. Carlos Galan and Miss Georgie. Okay, uh, Carlos, you're going to be Eric, and Georgie, of course, you're going to be Carmen, okay? Okay. All right, guys, so you can start. Action, please, go ahead. So, where are you from, Carmen? Mm -hmm. I'm, from, I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Well, I heard that as a really nice city. Yes, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic fishes just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not. No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Reasonable. No, <laughs> How big is the city? Okay. Continue? Continue, no? yes, of course, continue. Uh, how, big is the, how big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. Oh, sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent job. Okay, well, don't worry. We're, we're about to practice more of that. That's okay. I want more... Uh, two more victims. Sorry, two more volunteers. Okay, I'm going to pick them because I know that you love to participate. So I'm going to ask Mick, Erica Elizabeth to be, of course, Carmen, right? 
And he's go who's going to be Eric? Let me change. Okay, Caesar, you're going to be Eric. <clears throat> okay. Caesar, are you okay. with me? All right, cool. So action, please. Okay. Go ahead. You start. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Whoa, I have I I heard that a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? there? No, it is not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Oh, is it the city? It is a fairly big city, but it's not too big. In Seoul, Seoul perfect to me. Maybe in Seoul, plan is deep there summertime. Okay, very good. Congratulations. Good try, guys. Good try. I'm really proud of you. And I will share, and I will share right now with you. Okay, uh, let me, I'm proud of you. You see, hey, that's great, excellent. Okay, so now we're going to practice, okay? We're going to practice the pronunciation, not only the questions, but at the same time, the words that are, are really a little bit difficult to pronounce it, okay? If you notice in the dialogue, we have two type of questions. Maybe you have seen them, or we're going to review it in this model. But we have WH question and we have a just no question, okay? And depends on that, there's two types of pronunciation. One, the intonation goes up, and the other one, the intonation goes down. Let's find out, or let's figure it out, which one are they, okay? Let's, let's go back to the dialogue. Don't worry, okay, guys? You look like panic, like, no, don't worry about it, okay. Okay, let me put it a little bit bigger as well, so you can see it. Okay, you can see it, right guys? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, yes, I'm going to leave it here. Okay, this is the first question, is that correct? Yes or no? Yes, okay. yes. Yes. Okay, yes. And, okay, we have another question that is similar to this. That's why I'm going to like jump in a little bit and I'm going to write it as well. Okay, I'm going to focus only on this two right now. These guys, if you can see, this is what we call in English WH question because it starts with a WH or has the WH, like if the second example. The WH question, guys, the intonation goes down, okay? Goes down. So let's practice right now the pronunciation, okay? Listen carefully. Are you from, uh, no, where are you from, Carmen? Repeat after me, please. Where are you from, Carmen? Where are you from, Carmen? Ah, no, come on. I need energy. All right. Where are you from, <laughs> Carmen? Where are, where are you from, from Carmen? That's what I need. Okay, okay. The second one, how big is the city? How, How big, is, big, the big, 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 big is the city? city? Very good. You see that the intonation goes down. You don't say, How big is the city? No, right? Because you're going to scare. Okay, no. You said, <laughs> How big is the city? You see that the intonation goes down? How big is the city? Okay, one more time. Where are you from, you Carmen? Where are, Where are you from, from Carmen? From Carmen? Okay. How big is the city? How, How big, big is the city? city? Very good. Now let's focus on the other question. This one. This, guys, is what we call a just no question in present with the verb to be because you know that it starts with is, right? And is is the verb to be. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And we're using it because it's the third person. Okay. So in this one, guys, the intonation goes up. Okay. And we are asking, is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Repeat after me. Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? 
Uh -huh. You see, guys, that, let me, do, let me use another color. You see, guys, that we join, or we put together is and it. So we use is it, all right? Is it. Is it. Is it expensive here? Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Okay, very good. You see the intonation goes up. All right, guys. So let's practice together. Okay, let's practice the three questions. Where are you from, Carmen? Where are you from? Where are you from, Carmen? Where are you from, Carmen? Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? How big is the city? Oh, the city. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, let's continue to practice the rest of the dialogue. Okay, okay. Let me check it out. Really, there you go. Okay, listen carefully. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. From San Juan, Puerto Rico. I do not listen, everybody. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Very good. Whoa. 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 Like when you Whoa. guys wait, like when you see a beautiful girl on the street or girls when you see a beautiful boy on the street, you say, Wow. Wow. What I wow. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I need. Wow. That's intonation. Okay. Wow. I heard that's a really nice city. I've heard wow. that's a really nice, really nice city. A really nice city. A really nice city. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It is. The weather is great. The weather is great. Is great. And there are some fantastic fishes. And there are some, there are some fantastic fishes. fishes. Just outside the city. Is it expensive? Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? How big is the city? city? It's a fairly big city. It's a fairly big city. But it's not too big. But it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Maybe. 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 Very good. Okay, can we make a last um, practice, guys, with some of you? Yes, you would like to practice yeah. now? Okay, with the pronunciation. I don't want to you to make mistakes, okay? Hmm. Oops, nobody would like to participate now. <laughs> okay, um, let me check. Who's going to be my participants? Okay, let me raise this a little bit so don't get confused about that. There you go, there you go. Okay, cool. There you go. So who's going to be our victim? Sorry, our participants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All righty, I do need um. Oh, 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 oh. No, she's already participated. Hermes, Hermes, you're going to be Eric, okay? And uh, I think he's... Linda Xiomara, yes? Yes. Okay, you're going to be Carmen. Okay, talking about San Juan, Puerto Rico. Action, go ahead. Okay. So where are you from, Carmen? All right. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I heard that's a really nice city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic fishes just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it is not very expensive. Price are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Yay! Very good! 
<laughs> Congratulations! I'm so happy that I'm about to cry. <laughs> That's great! Excellent job, guys. Congratulations. You know what I love? Is that you use the correct intonation of the questions, but at the same time, you got into the character. Like, is it expensive there? No! Linda said, it's not expensive. You know? Yeah, yeah you know, that she, she knows what she's talking about, you know? She has been in some one Rico like 10 times. Yes, so that's great, excellent. But let's repeat one that is really hard for you to uh, pronounce. Reasonable, repeat after me, reasonable. 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 It's like if you were like going into a, into a flip. Reasonable. 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 reasonable, exactly. And you can say like reasonable, yes, reasonable. That's great, huh? Yeah, excellent. Very good job. Okay, any other vocabulary that you don't know what does it mean besides the adverbs and the adjectives that we're about to see? No? Everything is clear right now? So far, is it good? Good. Easy peasy queasy, like that. Is, that means like a piece of cake, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a piece of cake. Okay, like horchata or like a water? Like water. A water. <laughs> half and a half, mix and mix. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, also, guys, you need to pay attention on the pronunciation of this particular word. And let me <laughs> write it down on the chat. Can you see it? Yes? like el tunco, right, like el espino here, etc. Because some of you said pizzas. And most of the time you said vicious, all right? Vicious, guys, is the place where you can have fun, right, with your family. But if you pronounce it in a different way, you could uh, offend somebody because you, you can use it like a bad word, okay? So that's why it's really important that you learn how to pronounce correctly. Okay, oh, that's why how, I how to pronounce vicious. You see, like sh, sh, the sound vicious. Don't don't use it with t sound. No, because that is that word. Okay, with c sh, sh, sound is the place vicious. Okay, I know it's really hard to pronounce it because there are some words in English that the sound we do not have it in Spanish. So sometimes that's why it's a little bit complicated, but we're going to get used to it, okay? Okay, so repeat after me. Vicious. 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 Okay, that's what I'm talking Vicious. about. Very good, very good. Reasonable. Vicious. Reasonable. Vicious. Okay, Vicious. Fairly big city. Very big, big city. All right, very yeah. good. And if you can uh, uh, dance like in the summertime when the weather is fine, you can sit and it's perfectly fine, okay? All righty. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue practicing that. And tell me as long as you're able to see my screen, please. All righty. There you go. Let's double check some grammar. Ah, okay, everybody's happy with that. Okay, no way. Are you? Do you love grammar? No, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So, can you see my screen now? Yes, you can? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, teacher. There you go. Okay, so, okay, we're topic right now is adverbs before adjectives. That's what we're talking about in the whole class. But I want you guys to make, to pay attention to this. Really. Really. Fairly. 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 Okay. Very. And two. And okay. Two. Guys, these ones are adverse. Okay. Adverse. 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 Is, we use that. And if you can see that, guys, can you notice if we use it, adverse, which, and this one are the adjectives. You see, I'm, let me use another color here just to like make a difference. Okay. Nice is the adjective. Nice. Big. Is the adjective expensive? You see, this is this was a, a phrase on the dialogue. Is an adjective as well. Noisy is an adjective, and crowded is an adjective as well. And you see, guys, that the adverb goes 
before the adjective. You see that? We don't say it's big fairly. No, it's fairly big. We do not say it's not expensive very. It's very expensive. Okay. Very expensive. Okay. And guys, when you use a, an adverb before adjective, it's like when you like to emphasize something, right? When you would like to put a, like a strong meaning. Do you understand that? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's yes. practice some um, pronunciation of adverbs. Repeat after me. Extremely. Extremely. Very. 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 Really. Really. Pretty. Pretty. pretty or pretty? Pretty. 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 Fairly. Fairly. Somewhat. 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 Okay. Very Somewhat. good. Tell me, no, so, no, so what? No, no, no. Some what? Some what? Because um, some what, what is what? like, wow, well, what you're talking about? No, no, no. I mean, some what? Okay, tell me something, guys. Before I continue, if there's any word related to adverbs or adjectives that you don't know what doesn't mean? Any new vocabulary for you? What is somewhat? Somewhat, that means something. Ah, it is similar. Uh-huh. Okay. Exactly. And fairly? Fairly is like, uh, mm, it's different for, for somewhat. In what reason? Anybody can help her or I can give you the answer? Teacher, you're supposed to give me the answer. <laughs> All righty. Fairly is like, no, fairly is like more. Or, re, or, or fairly. it's like bastante or relativamente or justamente. Fairly. Okay. Mm -hmm. All righty. What about, do you know what is the meaning of noisy? Ruidoso. Exactly. Yes, this one, guys. I'm talking about this one, noisy. What about crowded? Poblado? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> kind of. But okay. For example, guys, uh, have you gone, when we, when we were able to go to the stadium, right, to watch the, the football match between FAS and Firpo, do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, there were a lot of people, right? You couldn't even walk inside the Cusco Atlanta Stadium. They were crowded. Okay, too many people, too many people there that you cannot even walk. You know what I mean? Concurrido. Uh, yes, and we can say, Mucha for example, gente. exactly, we can say it in Spanish. Multitud. Gen exactly, Multitud. gentil. Yeah, like when you go to the downtown and you would like to walk, you cannot walk. Exactly, so that is crowded when there are too many people in one place. Okay. Is it clear, guys? Yes. All right. Yes, Very good. Any questions so far? So far, so good? Okay. Let me give you an example here because when we use for uh, guys uh, an adjective or an adverb for adjective, uh, it is uh, we like to emphasize something. For example, uh, I can say, um, let me give, let me put an example with Georgie. Georgie, let's pretend that you have, um, I don't know, what kind, of, what kind of card? Uh, maybe, have, uh, no, you have like uh, a Mercedes-Benz car, okay? Let's pretend that, okay? I can say that her car, I'm talking about Georgie's car, right? Her car is expensive, okay? But guys, it is the same if I said her car is very expensive. It is the same meaning? Yes or no? No. Why not? Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, it's not. You're right. That means that there is a lot of money that I need to invest to get that car. Okay? <laughs> Something is expensive, but if I said very expensive, I put like an emphasize, like a stronger meaning. You know what I mean, guys? Hello, Houston, we do have a problem here. 
no problem. Yes. No problem. Yes, there's a problem here. Okay. Okay. For example, uh, we can say, my brother is tall. And we know that he's tall, right? But if I say, yeah. my brother is very tall, that means that he is like, uh, what? Like a Michael Jordan, right? Or Shaquille O'Neal, yeah. right? That yeah. Is, it's yeah, yeah, it's like a three meters, right? So it's, yeah. you see, guys, when we use the adverb, in this case, very and very, before the adjective, the adjective that we have here is expensive, and then here we have tall, we, we put a stronger emphasis in what we would like to say, okay? And that changed the meaning. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay, but do you remember guys that we also saw in the dialogue another adjective that it was this one basically, let me put it really quickly and let me change here, let me change the color. Yes, it was two. Do you remember that? And then. Yes, okay. Guys, sometimes we use it, or most of the time we use it with negative adjectives, most of the time. Let me give you this example, okay. Okay, what is this, guys? What is this? Dress. What is this? It's a dress. Yes, dress. Okay, let's imagine that it's like a Chanel dress. I don't know, okay, let's imagine that. Okay, <laughs> but I think Georgie is S, right? It's, it's size S, and this is size L. Georgie, is it going to fit on you or no? No. <laughs> no, because it's too big, right? So you see, Georgie says, this dress is too big for me. Okay? In this case, guys, you can see. Exactly, exactly. What, does it, what, what are you meaning? That this dress won't fit me. No me queda. You see? And you see, guys, the two, the, this, this adverb goes before the adjective. You see that? Is it clear? Yes. Are you sure? Yes? Okay, guys, so this is going to be your homework. Teacher. Yes, student. Okay. Can you see this, guys? Yes? Teacher, yes. could you pronounce uh, two and um, the uh -huh. number two? I, ah, I, uh -huh. I'd like to okay. see the difference. Two, number two, other. You see, the pronunciation is a little bit longer. Two, two. Two. You got the difference? Yes? Yes, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Guys, uh, somebody can take a, like a screenshot, if you don't mind, because this is going to be your homework, guys. I would need a sentence for each of these adverbs, okay? One sentence for extremely, one sentence of very, rarely, pretty, fairly, and somewhat, using ever before adjective, okay? This is only one sentence, that's what I need, no more. Any questions so far? Any doubts? Any, yeah, anything that you might have? Oh, come on. Oh my God. You don't want to speak today. No. Erica, Florcita, Wilfredo, Francisco, Carlos, Linda, Raquel, no? Have no doubt, repeat? yes, Georgie? Yes, what happened? Can you repeat, please? Why would, why would you like me to repeat? Your instruction about homework. Oh, yes. I, I'm, I'm about to send you this through the WhatsApp. Okay. Basically, guys, what I want you to do is to make a sentence okay. for each adverb. Okay, it's going to be extremely, very, Really, pretty, fairly, and so what? I'm going to send it to you right now in the WhatsApp group. And I just want you to make a sentence for each of them. 
you have to remember that the ones that I'm going to send it to you are adverse. And I want you to use it like the same example that we have seen in today's class. How we use adverse before adjectives. It doesn't have to be complicated sentences, no. I just want, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six sentences, that's all. And we're going to see it tomorrow, okay? Okay. 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 It will be six Nine. sentences, yes. teacher. Yes, six sentences. Okay, and we will post it on the platform. Yeah, no, we're going to share it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, it, it's going to be part of also practice that pronunciation, okay? But also, if you don't mind, guys, you can send it to me before the class because I'm going to evaluate the writing as well. Including punctuation, including capital letters, lower cases, etc. Okay? Okay, guys, I know it's time for you to go to sleep or eat something, okay? I'm so happy that it was our first class and everybody was here. Hopefully, you like it. If you do, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Again, I'm so happy to have you here. I know that for some of you and for all of you, it was really hard because maybe it was a really busy day today. But I'm so happy that you are here and that shows your commitment, okay? And you're willing to learn. Okay, so hugs and kisses, study, right? And see ya tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.